Hi everyone, uh, just a follow-up video on the Benito Antenajet AAS 300 DP uh, RF splitter. So um, I've been using it now for a few hours. Um, it's really nice to uh, be able to um, use three radios on any frequency with one Welbrook loop. Uh, obviously it's going to be really useful when I'm um, testing radios. Um, I was just looking at the specifications actually. So they, Benito say that the frequency range of the splitter is, is 9 kilohertz to 300 megahertz. Um, but you can use it up to about half a gigahertz with only small losses. So what they're saying effectively is it's basically lossless or just about lossless up to 300 and then small losses up to um, up, up to 5 100 megahertz um which obviously makes it very useful uh the um all the inputs are bnc from the antenna 50 ohms obviously um and it's got input protection up to 30 kilovolts um at max with a maximum pulse power of 350 watts so uh input protection it's also um there's about 70 db of decoupling um uh, between the inputs which protects the 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 device from interference um, between inputs but also um, it can suppress the emission of interference uh, radiation in the direction of the antenna so um, and obviously the uh, the outputs to the radios can remain uh, unconnected they don't require any sort of termination so you know basically um, it's a sort of wide band uh, RF splitter um, but that's that that's can be useful up to half a gigahertz. Um, one thing they do supply, if you want it, is a sort of stainless steel bracket for attaching this thing to some to a shelf or, or a desk in your shack because um, with this many cables attached to it, it's not particularly heavy. It does sort of tend to sort of move around a little bit, but um, not really a problem for me. Um, and uh, just to kind of demonstrate the... Um, uh, the, the bandwidth of it I've attached three radios to it so I've got um, uh, Radio Romania International on the JRC on 15130 500 euros each the migrants were planning to get to Western Europe investigations are underway 20 dbs over S9 decided to offer an alternative vaccine to people aged below 60 um, and then talk sport on the AM band it was 1-1 one, one. and Spurs went on to lose the game and uh, Jonathan earmarked that exact moment as the point. And Radio 4 on long wave. Starting now. A puffin is what I start doing when exercise is mentioned. Then comes the a huffin and a swearing. I can't be doing with it. A puffin, I imagine, when the phrase is mentioned. People call to mind the seabirds. Love to nest in coastal areas. So... So there you go. So uh, that's all the all three radios are connected to uh, a Wellbrook loop at the bottom of the garden down there, hanging on the fence. Um, and so, yeah, what a great little device. So um, I'm really happy with it. Uh, my thanks to Dennis Walter at Benito for um, uh, sending it to me and um, all of my DXing videos from this point in are going to be using um, the antenna jet. So um, no longer will I be connecting, disconnecting radios uh, to uh, one of my Welbrook loops. Uh, it'll all be done um, through the antenna jet. So, uh, so there you go. So uh, yeah, I mean, it's um, a brilliant bit of kit and one I should have bought a long time ago it's interesting isn't it the things that you do it was only really as I said in my previous video it was only because um I, of writing the review for the FDM S3 that ELAD SDR for radio user magazine that I finally pushed myself and thought well do you know what I need to get one of these to, to, to do that review so uh so anyway so but uh, you know I'm glad that I uh, finally got one. Um, I'll do some more videos probably um, once I've been using it a bit longer, um, but it is going to make it much easier now for me to, you know, uh, compare receivers, etc. cetera. So, um, and I do get requests quite often from subs 
asking me to compare various radios and um, which you know is fine um, but obviously I am quite busy as well but it does mean that um, uh, it'll be easier for me to do that so uh, and this thing is always going to be set up so uh, it'll help it'll help with that anyway uh, I just thought I'd share that with you uh, thanks for watching um, highly recommend one of these devices if you if you find yourself in a situation such as I always have that you've got many many radios and not so many antennas um and uh, yeah i can't recommend it highly enough so there you go all right well thanks for watching 73